It's iPhone season. New iPhones are here, and I wanted to cover some of my favorite iPhone accessories I use with, well, you probably guessed it, my iPhone. Now, all of these accessories will work with older iPhones. You don't need a th iPhone 13 or 13 Pro or iPhone 13 mini or an iPhone 13 Pro Max. There's a lot of iPhones now. Uh, some of them are MagSafe, so that will just mean they are iPhone 12 and 13 line. Sorry about that if you have an older phone, but there are other good things in this list, I promise. The first thing I wanna talk about is MagSafe Wallet. Uh, I really like this. This is my favorite MagSafe accessory and probably my favorite iPhone accessory. This has completely replaced me carrying a traditional wallet around. And what's great about it is if you have an iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, any one of those phones in that line, just magnetically attaches. And it's so convenient. It doesn't add a lot of bulk or anything. Um, this is completely replaced carrying a wallet. Now, this will only hold about three to four cards, depending on the card thickness. Um, I could probably get a fourth card in here, but I'm worried about the stitching that holds it together that it would kind of start to stretch that out a little bit. So uh, I just stick with three cards. That works for me. I don't carry cash or anything like that. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. This is the older version. This is the version that came out with the iPhone 12. There is now a newer version with Find My built into it. Um, that's interesting, but it's not enough to get me to replace this because this blue, this shade of blue, I'll do the Vanna White thing for those that know, Wheel of Fortune. This is like my favorite shade of blue. This is, this is perfect. Um, it's making me not really want to give up my iPhone 12 Pro because I love, I love the way this phone looks. Uh, but if I do, you know, get finally give this up and go iPhone 13 Pro Max, this with the silver phone, chef's kiss. Like, yes, please, that'll look fantastic. Uh, when the original reviews of the iPhone 12 came out and everyone had these in there, a lot of reviewers were saying it was popping off when they'd go to put it in their pockets. I have not found that to be the issue at all. And I wear skinny jeans, so... It slides right in there. One of the really nice things is I'm able to take this off the phone while the phone is in my pocket. I'm able to take this off the phone, pay, put the card in, you know, do the thing, put the card back and slide it into my pocket without ever taking the phone off. I get this disconnected and reconnected really easily. I've been using this with the iPhone 12 Pro since launch and I still really love it. It's, it's really great. It's held up really well. Even after a year of use, um, it's, it's still holding strong. Solid, solid wallet. Another MagSafe product that snaps onto the back is the MagSafe battery pack. This is a newer accessory uh, that just came out a few months ago and I went ahead and picked one up for my iPhone 12 Pro. Just like the wallet, it magnetically attaches to the back. Uh, and what's really cool is you get like this symbol right here to show what it's charged at. And then it also shows what the battery life is for the battery pack. What I like about this as opposed to other options. Now there are other options that do the MagSafe thing where it magnetically attaches and uses Qi charging to charge it. But what I like about this is it has smarts built into it and smarts built into the phone. So it trickle charges. So it doesn't just like juice up your iPhone the whole time. It slowly charges it. It, it does build up. It doesn't like, you know, completely die or anything like that, but it does build up a little bit. And that's a good thing because if it was just constantly charging your phone and like constantly topping it off and charging it, even if your phone's sitting at hundred percent, that would hurt your battery health. That's what makes batteries deteriorate over time, that kind of thing. So that's why I like this. I was willing to pay the extra money for this because it doesn't hurt your battery life. Now you might see a notification pop up when using this thing that it's only gonna charge it to 90%. Again, that's to help battery life, but maybe you're like, nope, I need this thing to charge it to 100%, I need that. You can go into control center, long press on low power mode, and you can select the option to charge past 90%. This is just something I leave in my backpack. I will grab when I'm home throughout the day and just use it so I don't have to set my phone down and charge it or anything like that. I can still carry it with me. Uh, but this is just a nice thing to have when traveling, uh, just in my backpack. You never know when you're gonna need, you know, to charge up your phone and you may not be next to an outlet. So handy, handy device. Another MagSafe accessory, I'm, I'm kind of doing the MagSafe things all together if you haven't noticed, uh, is the MagSafe Duo. This is a really cool like travel charger accessory that I really like. 
It's kind of, it folds up really nice so you can just slide it into your bag. It, it's not a big bulky thing. And what's cool about this is it has two sides. So this side right here, and you can push this down or up depending on what Apple Watch strip band you use, uh, but it charges your Apple Watch. And then on this side, it'll charge your iPhone, but it'll also charge any AirPods that do wireless charging. So if you have the base AirPods with the wireless charging case, you can use those or AirPods Pro you can put on here as well. Just kind of a nice little charging solution. If you travel, you're staying in a hotel room, you can flip this out, put your stuff there. You don't have to have multiple cables. It also works really well as like a bedside charging station. If you just charge an Apple Watch and a phone at night, uh, this would work really well for that as well. Now, maybe you don't have an Apple Watch or you don't need the dual pads or you're just looking for something a little cheaper, but you still want like MagSafe charging. The Mag MagSafe Puck is still a really good option. I keep one on my desk and I use this for charging up my iPhone and charging up my AirPods Pro and stuff like that throughout the day. Now, since the iPhone no longer ships with a charging brick, you kind of have to pick up one to use with, well, either the iPhone or either of these MagSafe accessories. Now, Apple recommends you get a, a 20 watt power brick right here. Um, this is the one from Apple right here. It's actually really good. I, I really like it. I've bought a few of these now. They're constantly on sale on Amazon. So if you do want to go the Apple route and get the Apple power brick, um, I would pick one up from Amazon. They're, they're always on sale. Speaking of Amazon, I'm actually doing some live stream stuff over there. I'm talking about tech and accessories and products and stuff that I like using uh, throughout my day. I've been doing quite a few live streams. Uh, you can check all that out. I also have a page over there where I've been linking to things that I like, stuff I use. Uh, so I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You can check that out. I'll, I'm also gonna link everything that I mentioned in this video. I didn't say that at the top, but I will put links to everything I talk about in the description below. Um, but I will also link to that Amazon page. You can follow me there. It's like subscribing to a YouTube channel. You'll be notified when I do live streams and stuff like that. It's just been a fun time. I've just been hanging out with people, answering questions about uh, tech, accessories, iPad OS, iOS, things like that. Um, so, you know, next time I do a live stream, please feel free to join me and ask me whatever you want. Okay, so another charging brick that I like is this one from Anchor right here. I've talked about this one a lot, specifically in regards to the iPad. It's a 60 watt dual USB charger, but if you plug two devices into it, each port will drop down to 30 watts, which is still fast charging for the iPad and more than enough to fast charge the iPhone or anything else. I really like this. This stays in my bag because I, I may need to charge up my iPad or my iPhone or camera batteries or something like that. This is my go-to travel brick charger. Now you may need to get some extra cables or something like that to go with your iPhone or other accessories and stuff like that. And the ones that Apple make, they're fine, but they're plastic. I don't really care for those. I like these braided ones from Anchor. Braided cables are so nice. They last a lot longer. The plastic ones always fray and they just look terrible after a long period of time. I have had these braided ones for I don't know how long and they still look like new. Um, and I'm not gentle with my stuff. I use it. This isn't like something that sits in my bag and I never touch it. I use these things all the time. Uh, and I highly recommend like braided cables. You don't even necessarily have to get the ones from Anchor, but if you're looking for replacement cables, I highly recommend going with braided ones. They're only ever a couple of bucks more and they're worth it in the long term because they last longer. So you don't need to buy more cheap ones often. So a lot of people play a lot of games on their iPhone and you may or may not know this, but you can actually pair a controller with your iPhone. Now there's a whole line called the MFI series. It's, it's called it stands for made for iPhone. It used to stand for made for iPod, uh, but it stands for made for iPhone. And there's like a bunch of controllers and stuff for that line. And they're fine. Um, but personally I found, and they're not that much more expensive. The PlayStation or Xbox controller just feels a lot better. Um, they, they have a little bit of weight to them. So they feel good in your hand. The, the ergonomics are a little bit better. And then you can get something like that clamps onto your PlayStation controller and holds your phone in place. So you can play like this while sitting on the couch or something like that. So I really like AirPods. I think they're kind of like my favorite headphone line right now, just because of the convenience. And I love my AirPods Max. They, they sound great. They're good headphones, but they're not very convenient. They're heavy. They're hard to travel with because they're so big. And because of that, if somebody came to me and said, Chris, you're only allowed to have one pair of AirPods, one set of AirPods, 
you can only have one, I think I would go AirPods Pro over AirPods Max. These are just so much more convenient. They're small. I mean, they literally fit in the palm of my hand. They're not heavy. They're easy to travel with. I could throw them in any bag and they don't take up that much space as opposed to the AirPods Max. Now, they don't sound nearly as good as the AirPods Max, but they still have noise canceling and transparency mode, which are the really important features to me. So I, I still think like these are the, my go-to headphones for most things. If I'm not sitting at my desk, these would be the headphones I'm wearing. If I go for runs, walks, whatever, travel, whatever, these are the headphones I use. I don't even think I would wanna take the AirPods Max on a flight just because of how big they are. The, you really can't overstate the convenience of how small these are and just how nice they are. The battery life lasts a long time. The case is really good at either wireless charging or you can plug a lightning cable in. Fun fact, if you're wireless charging these, you can tap the case and let either the amber light or the green light will show up telling you it's either still charging or it's at 100% of its charge. Now, my only complaint about the AirPods Pro is the tips. The tips that ship with them aren't very comfortable for me. Everyone's ears are different, uh, but they're not very comfortable for me to wear for a long period of time. So I got these ones from Chargent and full disclosure, they sent me the first set of these. They sent them for me for free to review. I, I reviewed them a, while, a long time ago uh, and I really liked them. Uh, so I've actually bought my own set since then and I'm using my own now. I, I do like them that much. But what they are is they're silicone on the outside and foam on the inside. So the foam makes them a lot more comfortable to wear for a long period of time. And there's a lot of foam uh, AirPod tips out there. But the problem with them is ears, they're kind of gross and disgusting and there's foam tips will absorb that. And uh, yeah, that's not... It's not good, so they, they, get, they go bad really quickly. Well, since these have silicone on the outside, they don't go bad nearly as quick. In fact, my first set lasted me like six months, which is, I believe, what uh, Chargent says they're supposed to last is right around six months or something like that. So uh, I just replaced these because I, I bought a new set and I was like, well, let's just swap them around. I got stuff going on. I don't want to worry about it later. Now, the only thing I want to mention with these is the tips are not one-to-one -one with the Apple tips. So I wear a large in the Apple tips, but on these Chargent ones, Ones, I wear a medium. So uh, I would recommend getting the variety pack first, figuring out what size you want. You can give the leftovers to family, friends, whatever. Uh, but from then on out, you can buy the specific size pack. So that's it for this video. Let me know what your favorite iPhone accessory is. I, I'm curious to hear from you all. You might've noticed I did not talk about any cases. I don't like cases on my iPhone. I run my iPhone naked. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a great day.